Look at those bubbles on there. That is a solid turquoise nugget. Let's see if we can dig it out. Lane and I are out here at one of our Royston claims. We're gonna come out and we got some good chalk showing in the pit and maybe we'll get into some harder natural turquoise that will be cuttable sooner than later. The chalk, we're gonna have to stabilize it. But we're gonna take you back here and right now we're checking fluids on the excavator, make sure all the oil, uh, coolant, all that kind of stuff's good. And then we'll get it warming up, take you guys into the pit and show you what we have showing. Banging turquoise. Let's get this dug out. It's going good. We also have more chalky stuff showing up. Is this little seam? Running all the way down that seam. Goes in there a good ways. Bucket, dig some more out, huh? Yep. I think we got an awesome looking nugget showing. I believe it's a nugget. It's all in this clay. Let's see. Yep, yeah, it's a nugget. And the bubbly nuggets. Royce and turquoise. Not quite the prettiest one, <laughs> but they should get better. Turquoise with quartz inclusions. It's a cool one Breton found. dark colors in it. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> nice flat nuggets. the turquoise was coming out in. All right, we're all done cleaning it out. I'm gonna try and beat Lane to a piece of turquoise I've seen. I'll hopefully slip some falls out of the excavator so I can beat him to it. flat nug on that one. Little piece showing up here. It's more back in the wall. Little veins running. Back in here. Alright. Try and dig some good ones out for you guys. Alright guys, I'm already back. I just pulled some out of this pile over here. I was looking back over here. We'll see if I can find it again. 
You can see a really nice blue piece staring at us from right down here. We'll pull it out real quick. Oh man, it's bright. Another one down by it too. Big old piece of chalk there. And then this one here. Oh yeah. It's good color. Nice color to come out. I'm gonna pop some things off the top of the rock here. It's just too thin to really do much with this one. I'm trying to get them thick enough to cut nice cabochons out of. Good color, but just not quite enough substance there to work with. Let's see if we can get in some of these flats and veins back here. This one could go into the rock. We as well break in that. Hit it at a different angle. There's been on that one side still, so I'll break it again. Oh, it's probably worth saving. That one too. Hopefully it gets thicker yes. back in there. Looking like it is. We'll stabilize that. We'll get a nice few cabs out of it. Let's see if we can just gently pry some of these out. Oh, yeah. That's a nice piece. We got a little conglomerated pocket of nug back here. Bit of rock in it, but I bet it'll get some nice cabs. It's the best, best part of my turquoise is just sitting here and picking nugs and nugs and nugs. I'm gonna sort through every piece, it's gotta be individually graded and see if there's any use for it. How big it is, how small. If it's hard enough, but these ones look like they'll do some good for us. Instead of nuggets, sometimes turquoise will form in sheets. It's like a big vein in between two rocks, and it's almost like a sheet. In your experience, a lot of times when those lay flat, they have a good chance of getting a lot thicker, huh? Yep. It just lays right up on top of this rock here. We'll saw that off the top of this rock. Cut it in the cabochons for jewelry. All right, guys, we're just digging in this scene. Little bits of color coming out, but we have a good sign come out. Look at those bubbles on there. That is a solid turquoise nugget. Let's see if we can dig it out. Gotta get this rock relieved. Maybe bigger above it. It's nice that the post rock's clay. A lot of times it's super hard. Yes. Considering it's clay, that's what's causing the nuggets to form because these have a hard time forming in a, the harder rhyolite rock. Look at that nugget on the end. That is sweet. Let's see if we can break it off the rock here. Perfect. Yep, there it is. Solid little bubbly Royston turquoise nugget. Really good color in the end here too. Killer. It should cut two nice cabochons. Yep, should be able to take the trim saw and split it right down the middle and lay it open and get two nice cabs. You are correct. Awesome. Let's see if we can That's find some one. more. All right, here, guys, we got another nugget right behind where that one came out. This one happened to be broke, so you can get a look at some of the color in it. The same little bubbles on the outside. Really good color, hard turquoise. 
looks blue, this Royston turquoise always has a hint of green in it. It just does not stand up for blue against those Arizona turquoise or out of the Candelaria Hills. But this is top-notch, world-class turquoise right here. All right, down here, we have a coated nugget that flipped out. It's a green, waxy coating on it. And this happens with a lot of our high-grade nuggets out here at Royston. It's another one of those flatter, probably an eighth to a quarter inch thick. And it is killer looking. But right above it, where it fell out from, we have some more. So they look like they're ready to come out. Just falling out of that little dirt layer. Oh, beautiful. You can even see the roots. Yeah. We're not too far from the surface. Yeah, and generally on the surface, we get some really intense colors. Just a little ways down. Some more little ones back here. Those are some killer nuggets there. Those look like beautiful cabs, I think. Awesome. Hopefully we can dig into a bunch of these. Yeah, once those are cutting the cabochons, how much do you think they'd be worth? Shoot, probably over $100 easy here. Probably $120, $150, somewhere in there. We'll take them. Right out of the root layer, it's super hidden. It's just covered in that dirt. But we can see turquoise showing all the way around, and then that end is chipped. Gosh dang, look at the color in that. Some nice nuggets. It's killer. Let's see if there's any more. That one I could have just dug out with my finger. Oh, and a little chip one back there. Looks like we got a small one right here. Get my ugly hand out of the way. That's a small piece here. Yeah, these root layers are where it's at for getting nugs. Let's see if we can break into it a little bit more real quick. It's not quite. It's got some color, but it's not quite formed. This one is more than likely nothing. So we could drag the pick through it a little. Come on, give us more. We're getting greedy over here, aren't we? All right, right up here's where that little dirt seam with the roots is coming. We got some really cool nuggets back in here. Right down below it, we got another seam of nuggets popping up. This one's loose. Some little bubbly ones again. Give it a good shake. Come on out. Ooh, damn. That is beautiful. Bright blue turquoise. Let's get these dug out. Oh, they're just falling out. One there on top of the rock peeled off. One there, one there, go over here and dig some more. A nice one right there. Looks like we possibly one up here. Crazy, it comes straight out of the ground just in such bright, vibrant colors. I think that is a solid mug. It's got some cool bubbles on it. It is nice digging in this clay. We haven't had to get out the chip and hammer yet. Some nuggets are going up in there. Ooh, we're getting some color below them, too. Pulled a little bit more ground. That's where we were digging. Got some nice looking green turquoise showing up. It's running right in this 
crack here. Got a nice slabs coming out. It's more green than than the blue over there. but it seems to be kind of falling apart. Nice right, stuff coming out still. We got a couple little bubbly nugs and turn it back into the chalkier vein back there, but that's all right. You know what that sounded like? What? It sounded like money in the bucket. <laughs> Dang it. We'll take that. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, just thought on the way out from mining today we would show you some of the old... Um, we got a head frame over here and some of the old mine tellings from the original Royston Silver Mining District. Over there we got an old head frame where they would run the ore carts down the stope to get down to the silver ore. They had hauled it out on these rails. And down there at the end, that is their ore chute. So we'll come down here and show you guys where they would have dumped the silver ore into their um, ore wagons they would haul out with workhorses. And quite a long process and those old boys had to stay under the ground a lot. That's the old ore chute right there at the end. It's hard to tell because of the shadow. That would funnel down into their ore carts that were towed around by horses. And then they'd take that to their mill and process the ore down and refine it. Well, that's just a cool little piece of the history here out at the Royston Mining District. We thought we'd show you guys. And then guys, just down the road from that ore chute, we have one of the original old buildings it's one of the last ones standing here at Royston. Uh, Royston was mostly tents here when they're mining the ore and prospecting. Um, pretty typical for around these old buildings is a lot of old trash. Um, a lot of their canned food and there's probably even some Prince Albert tobacco cans around here. It's pretty neat. There's a lot of history in these old buildings and it's pretty cool that that one is still standing. Lane and I are going to head up to a couple other claims here at Royston we have and search around and see what we can find and get a game plan together for mining here in the next few weeks. Hopefully we can get some good turquoise dug out and get some more awesome video for you guys. And just driving over to this other claim, I thought I'd point out some exploration trenches, I believe were for turquoise. You can see how they trench through the ground here. And what they're doing is trying to cross cut the leads of turquoise that would push up through the ground. So after they had cross cut it, they'd be able to find the lead of turquoise and then follow the lead of turquoise to mine it. Pretty cool. Some more diggings up here. We don't own these particular properties, but I thought it'd be cool to show, give you guys an idea of what we work with out here. All right, guys, we pulled one of the little bubbly nugs out we dug out today. Here it is. We're going to take it over to the grinding wheels now and grind it off, show a face or two on it, and show you guys what it looks like on the inside, along with a handful more of the better ones we dug out today. So come over here with Lane and we'll get at it and you'll get to see the full process. <laughs> 